This time we are going to study the letter of the President Nixon to the Soviet General Secretary Brezhnev, July, again, 21, again. And uh, we see, in fact, the answer. So, I have received and carefully studied your message concerning Cyprus, which was delivered to the White House by your embassy early today. So this is in relation with the note. So the embassy sent it to the White House. It was studied, interpreted, and now we have the answer. You remember that Kissinger is the advisor also of Nixon. So all these guys are doing the same thing for this letter. So for me, you can see it from the blue point, we seek confrontation of any kind, okay? So in fact, we wish to cooperate with you in restoring peace and the previous constitutional arrangement in Cyprus. Again, the constitution. So the United States does not support and has no supported external interference in the affairs of Cyprus. Uh, this is a, a nice way to do many things at the same time, because in fact they said, we are not supporting either Greeks or Turks or British, no more Soviet also, okay? So for us, the essential task now is to bring about a ceasefire on Cyprus. And you see that I made some uh, notes uh, on the previous note, okay? You remember, I emphasized the, the situation about this point. And now you see it, that this is the first point which is important. So this is the, the goal of our active diplomatic effort with the parties concerned and of our actions in the United Nations, okay? So you should know that we have been in contact literally around the clock. This expression will be used also in uh, Switzerland with Geneva. So this is the point. This is the important paragraph. They want the ceasefire. The Soviets don't want the ceasefire. They just want the situation before the coup. It's not exactly the same thing. So they want a ceasefire to start the negotiation, okay? So you see, this is a starting point. From the Soviet point of view, it's quite different. They, they don't care about this ceasefire, in fact, but th they want the end of the process to be the situation before. So, totally different, in fact. The Americans want to stop the invasion and to say, okay, we are going to negotiate now. And the Soviets don't care about the invasion, but want the situation before. So, there is an, uh, an equilibrium we can find a solution, a combination of this is possible, but it's also a negotiation. I trust, so Nixon said, I trust the Soviet Union will firmly and actively support the goal of an immediate ceasefire as well. So implementation of a ceasefire will make possible negotiation. So this is again the first point, okay? as proposed by the UK. So this is a British position. You remember the note. 
That's why it's important to, to read the note before the letter. And at the end of that, okay, we have a last paragraph, quite different. It just wants to be positive. So I have noted the positive comments we have just made on our relations in your speech in Warsaw, so in Poland. So you see, the first paragraph is, okay, I know what you want. The second one is, now you know what I want. The third is, I imagine that we agree. And at the end, something which is positive. Now, the only point which seems to be the same is restoring peace and the previous constitutional arrangement in Cyprus. So, a treaty, London, the British position, the constitution. But the first, the essential task is the ceasefire on Cyprus. And we are in July 21. So just one day. <laughs>